All right, so this is a little boom box deal I put together using this old hard plastic toolbox. Now I want to say that the end result uh, something that I was actually pretty damn happy with. So essentially this is just what I've got going on. I found these pile coaxial speakers on Amazon. Nine dollars for the pair. Okay. Four inches. They've come with tweeters on them. Little tweeters in there. They've already got capacitors on them. Now they say 180 watts max. And I think they're, I think it says something more along the lines of 90 watts RMS. Um, and I'm using a Class D amplifier module that uses a TDA3116 chip. The chip it is using will operate up to 26 volts. Now, if you want to get anywhere near the maximum output, you're going to have to run it. At, you know at least 24 volts or so this says 21 volts for two two by 50 watt by the way this is a stereo output I, I, I kind of figured and hoped the separation between these two speakers would actually be enough to make stereo um, not a stupid idea but this will run closer to 100 watts in a mono setup it sounds great that it, after running for extended periods you can't really say this little heat sink is even hot it's warm uh, but that's it. Um, I've got this little, these little 18650 holders here, six of them. And they're wired to be in series. You can see once I have all six in there, I've got approximately you know 24 volts or so. So you can see this is this is all it is. Um, this particular circuit um, has an output right here that is close to input voltage. So I just have that going down to. Uh, feed this little voltage readout <clears throat> and it's it's using the uh, power on the volume control so essentially when you turn the circuit on it's going to power that close to line voltage rail which is going to show me close to what the battery voltage is and it's also got another little output here which is a 5 volt output which um, I'm going to as soon as I find the appropriate Bluetooth circuit, I'm going to use that to uh, run that. Um, the only ones I've seen so far are have two flaws that I don't like. Uh, one is that when you activate the Bluetooth mode, it will give you a, either a chime or a some type of vocalized uh, playback that tells you Bluetooth is connected, and it, it does it at absolute maximum volume, which is really uh, annoying. And the other one is. I just can't deal with the, um, you know, where's Bluetooth that connected uh, successfully. I'm not trying to make fun of how she speaks, but it's just funny to me. If I was to use that circuit, I would be flipping it on and off uh, constantly just to hear it. I need a, I need one that uh, doesn't work that way. But anyway, as you can see, um, I had to do a little bit of work here to try to seal it up. I basically just put a little shitty line of hot glue there got these little, little sticky pads I just wanted to use I put there also I've essentially got it so it doesn't seal up airtight but it seals up good enough when I add a Bluetooth circuit in here I would imagine the output signal from that Bluetooth device is going to be significantly higher than what I would get from a cell phone um, so that will yet again give me much higher volume if you're going to be cranking maximum power through here you're most likely going to be playing something that has ridiculous bass in it these, these lower frequencies that are really moving this cone that's what's uh, pulling all your current you can see this you know if you have a multimeter display or something you know so if I if I start cranking really loud bass I'm gonna see the voltage start dipping when it when that when those low frequencies hit in if I'm playing something without really any bass in it, I can have this thing cranked all the way up, and it's hardly gonna, hardly gonna struggle. Now you notice I don't have any passive radiators on here. I did not feel that I needed one. Um, I'm not gonna compare this to a a really expensive, you know, super audio head setup, because why would I do that? These are nine dollar speakers. But the point is, I spent less than thirty dollars, and I was able to produce. A little boom box in a in a craftsman toolbox that's not to say any type of random toolbox you use is gonna is gonna work but that is to say 
uh, I wouldn't be discouraged about you know being told it's not going to work because you didn't do your calculations. It most likely will sound all right so long as you build it properly. So we're going to leave it at low volume. Obviously, I'm using a smartphone microphone. It's not going to give you a really good gauge of how it sounds, but very clear, low volume. Now I'm going to turn it up to max volume. So yeah, there's that. Um, now uh, let's find something with a lot of bass in it. All right, now I like that old school shit. So naturally, I'm gonna go with uh, Dead Prez hip hop. Play that instrumental. Just go ahead and bump that all the way up. note here without this being clamped all the way down the bass causes it to rattle really bad and it makes a annoying sound so I, I have that clamp normally and now you can see that voltage dipping also this little hole right here is putting out some air play that for too long because it's really loud um, and that you probably can't tell over the phone let's find another song with sort of uh, in between all right now I like this song this is a uh, whoops this is a uh, low roar I'll keep coming I think this is a decent song to uh, get an idea of just you know what what it sounds like when it's not too high or too low but Well, let's play it right about there to start with.
turning the knob. from that but uh that is, that is incredibly loud and I, I i can't noticeably hear any distortion with the volume all the way up um so there you go um let me see if i can uh real quick just pull up the uh speakers here for you boom here you go let's see so right there pile four inch car speaker pair now you can see 110 hertz frequency response that's the low but I tell you what um, combined with this hard plastic box uh, it sounds great to me for nine dollars I basically just wanted to show you can buy some shit speakers they sound good to me throw them in a box seal it up pretty good buy an appropriate amplifier I would recommend one of these class D uh, switching amplifiers in my opinion, if you're thinking about building one of these, give it a shot. A, a lot of people might tell you, you know, before you think about doing your own thing, go ahead and, you know, build something else that's been proven to work. Start there, figure out what you're doing first. Um, I mean, that's all good and well. That's not bad advice at all. But um, I personally would not deter you from just go ahead and trying to build your own. I got lucky with this. I think it sounds freaking great. Everyone that has listened to it agrees. Um, hard to tell through this smartphone microphone but boom there you go it's as easy as it is